for the glory of the royalty. Uh, here we have uh, Beast Wars Inferno. Uh, he's a big fire ant, so that makes sense. He would be called Inferno. Uh, his back rear leg joints, as you can see, are a little loose. They don't really... Conceivably, if you tighten him up, he could hold his uh, abdomen up in the in the background. Uh, but as it is, he just kind of flops flat. Um, I remember that being the problem with my original. Uh, this one just came in the other day. So, uh, so there's that. A little annoying, but... Um, not the end of the world. Um, he still is a giant red fire ant, as you can see. Very big. Back when Voyagers were big. Um, yeah, ant. Uh, you can also make him chomp his ant jaws. Uh, his antenna can be positioned forward or positioned back. Um, ants. That's really all there is to him in ant mode. He's an ant. But a few flips and turns. Fold up the fold up the legs here. Uh, fold up these as well. Flip his toes out there. And he come down. Flip uh, about his butt. Now bring those down. Snap them together. Bring the legs down like this. And spin this whole thing apart right here. On to the Whoa. All right, tripod. Way to fail me. Yet you failed me for the last time, tripod. I can't believe it's not butter. Anyway, um, I can't believe how many crumbs are in the butter. Anyway, bring the legs down like this. His ant legs down. Um, I'm come down here. Wait, what did I do? I just did something wrong. I did just do something wrong. Rotate this around like this. Bring his legs down like this. And then rotate his whole chest piece down and around. This will let his uh, robot head come up. Like that. Close the back panel. Rotate his head around. Like that. Ah. And again, you can pull, you can pull out his jaws form his weapon. Okay, that's weird. Anyway. Bring his arm down. And there is Inferno in robot mode. You can have him hold uh, under his hands here. There's these little ports. Uh, you plug the weapon in right in there. Antenna were always problematic. There we go. And then uh, the missile, the, the, the missile launcher does launch a missile. Missile, missile. I'm Sean Connery all of a sudden. A missile. Um, you pull off his little piece out of his toe, and it actually becomes the missile for his weapon. And if you just pop it forward, it fires the missile. And if you're lucky, it'll bounce up and hit you in the face. Load up his weapon. Now, uh, that all—all all that in and of itself would be cool. But we have <laughs> funny what I what I what I did there. I didn't mean to do it. Uh, if you come around to his rear, this whole ant rear, you can open it up, and he actually does in fact have, just like on the cartoon, although it wasn't quite as large on the cartoon, he does have a jet engine butt. Um, and then you push this little button right here, and the panels are all out of the way. He does have his spinning jet engine butt, which amuses Niblet to no end. So yeah, you can get that going pretty well. So, you've got a fire ant named Inferno with a jet engine butt uh, who can pull his own jaw out to make a weapon. So, you know... Not a whole lot you can complain about here. It's a pretty win-win situation with this guy. Um, you can, if you want, leave the uh, jaw weapon in, of course. Although, getting these antenna to stay properly. If I pop them in this way, let's see what happens. Yeah, there we go. That looks a little better. And there's Inferno. And, and you know, I was just thinking, you know, when, when you see him in ant mode, he's so freaking giant. Um, 
that I was I was talking about like back when Voyagers were big, but uh if you pull them over, he had to Voyager Prime, he's actually not really any bigger. Um, a little bit more mass due to the uh to the jet butt. But uh but yeah, so uh I guess I was talking out of my uh my jet butt there. But anyway, uh, there he is. Uh, one of Megatron's most loyal lieutenants in Beast Wars, mostly because he mistook Megatron for his queen, uh, which I know caused Megason Megatron much consternation uh, on the show. But uh, there he is, Beast Wars Inferno.